Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to retrieve the table data from tables. So let's get started. In the previous session, we have retrieved the table headings from the table using Selenium Python. In this session, we are going to retrieve the table data from the table using Selenium Python. So here is an example web page where we have this sample table from which we have to retrieve the data from, table data from. I'll open this browser and open this application, sample application URL, where we have the sample table available. So on this page, you just scroll down here, you will have the sample table available. And from this table, I would like to retrieve all this table data starting from Kishore to Mumbai, that is 12. Okay, 12 data is there. Kishore is the one, 22 is the second, like the 12 sets of data is there. I would like to retrieve all this data from the table with the help of Selenium Python. So for this, you should be good with XPath expression. You should be able to locate this table data. Okay, all these 12 elements of the table data you have to locate with the help of XPath expression. So right click inspect. Let's create the XPath expressions now. Let's go to the selector sub, either selector sub or you can go to the, you know, just control F and you just write the XPath expressions here. Anything is fine. If this is available, you go with this or if this is available, you go with this. Okay. Now here, write down. Uh, let's first locate this table. Okay. To locate the table data, first like locate the table. So here is the table. We have table and uh, let's create an XPath expression to locate the table first. Double slash table at the rate ID is equal to table one. And uh, under this table, where is the table data? Under the TD tags, right? If you expand this table body in under TR, we have the TD tag. Simply set double forward slash TD. That's it. You see 12 elements, nothing but all the table, table data. Kishore, 22, Delhi, Manish, 25, Pune, Pravin, 29, Bangalore, Deepthi, 31, Mumbai. Everything got located here. All the table data in this particular table got located. I would like to retrieve this particular table data and print in the output console. For that, I'll copy this XPath expression and go to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. First, let me copy this application URL and paste it here. And after that, I have to copy this XPath expression, which is locating all this table data and create a, create something like this. Driver dot find instead of element, you have to go with elements as I already covered in the previous session. And here you have to write by dot XPath, give the XPath expression, which will retrieve all the table data. Okay, so here I'll write down table underscore data is equal to, okay, table data is equal to. So I'll write uh, for data in table data, for data in table data, for each and every data in the table data, there are 12 data is there, okay, 12 data, one by one data, this for loop will iterate. So I'll just say data dot text, because this particular text in this data, Kishore text is between the tags, in order to retrieve that, we have to use a text command. I'll directly print it all. I'll just surround this with print statement so that it will print into the output console. For uh, this for loop will iterate until all this data is being printed in the output console. After that, it, it will be done. It will come out of the for loop and simply I'll quit the browser. At the end, I'll just go into close the quit the browser. Now run the script. Now run the script. So it has to retrieve all the data from the table. You see Kishore 22 Delhi, Manish 25 Pune, Pravin 29 Bangalore, Deepthi 31 Mumbai got retrieved. The table data got retrieved from the table. So here you should be good with XPath expressions. Uh, the simple thing about automating the tables is that if you are good with XPath expressions, you can automate the tables in the simplest manner, okay? So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.